Now this is known as the pizza steak, and the reason it's known as the pizza steak is purely and simply because it has the ingredients of the pizza sauce. It has onions, tomato, garlic, oregano, and I put a little bit of chilli in it. I don't know whether that goes into the normal pizza sauce, but I don't care, because I like that little bit of chilli. So what we've got here is one onion and four cloves of garlic. The onion's diced, the garlic's sliced, and we're just going to saute that until it's tender. That's right, I didn't make up this, this steak. I really didn't, or this sauce. It's actually quite a traditional Italian one. All right, to that I then add a couple of cans of diced tomatoes. I always put some stock in it, that's not absolutely necessary, but it then cooks down and you find that you've got a nice thick sauce and it's it's fairly smooth, which is what I like, some salt and pepper, but you certainly don't have to put the stock in if you don't want to, and you could certainly make it with fresh tomatoes if you had some beautiful, wonderful, very ripe fresh tomatoes. I put a couple of teaspoons of pureed chilli in that. Once again, that's up to you. And then all I do is cook that down until it's thick and fragrant. So we're talking pretty simple stuff here. There's nothing too complicated. Did I put pepper in? Yes, I did. Of course I did. I knew that. And that's about all there is to the sauce. So we cook that nice and thick and fragrant and, you know, with some really lovely flavours. Then we put the oregano in. We're not going to put that in yet. And then we talk about the steak. So, pretty simple stuff. All right, a nice thick sauce, looking good. Some oregano in it. And I've got a couple of steaks there. Porterhouse steak, look, it could be anything rump porterhouse to it, doesn't really matter. And I've just grilled it, seasoned it once it's been turned over. And we're looking pretty much in business there, so I'll just turn that off. Grab myself a plate. I'll just put this other steak onto the board there. I'm only presenting one at the moment. There's enough sauce there for obviously four. But I only did two steaks, didn't I? I only had the small grill. That's the reason. So we just put a nice amount of that sauce on there. And what I'm then going to do is just cut a cup. Now this bocconcini is absolutely optional. But I'm just going to cut a couple of pieces of bocconcini. Throw it on the top. Put that under the grill briefly. The bocconcini won't melt much. But it just starts the process. So I'll throw that under the overhead grill, and while that's happening, let's just dress some wild rocket. Any leaves are fine, but I think with this particular one, the wild rocket's most will be the star of the show. So just balsamic, olive oil. And I've got some noise around here today. I think somebody's going to have a fight outside. I don't know what that's about. We don't want anything more, do we? All right, let's keep an eye on this. And as you can see, that bocconcini's just started to melt a little. It's exactly what we want. You know, it never melts like proper cheese, but when I say proper cheese, sorry, guys, that's a ridiculous thing to call it. Of course it's proper cheese, but it doesn't melt like, say, a tasty cheese or something like that. But it's certainly starting that process, keeps its shape, and as I said, that's the pizza steak. Pretty simple stuff. Very, very tasty. That sauce, I have to say, is brilliant. Nice little bit of tangy rocket on the side. The bocconcini on top. Simple stuff. Yeah, pretty good.